Good morning, guys. It is Saturday, the last day of February, and it's 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to make myself some breakfast right now. Um, I don't really know what all we have planned for today, but I just wanted to bring you all along on my day to see what it's like to be a type 1 diabetic throughout a day-to-day -day basis. So I hope that you all enjoy this video. Let's get started. Okay, guys, so I'm making egg yolks for my breakfast this morning. Um, I normally eat three egg yolks and then sometimes maybe some waffles or Lucky Charms. Today I'm just going to make egg yolks and have some milk with it. Um, because diabetics have to have carbs, then I normally just do the milk as my carb for that day. Um, I do that a lot on Sundays and sometimes I don't bolus for it. Just cracked that yolk. Whoops. That's alright. Um, I won't bolus for the milk and it helps my blood sugar stay really stable on Sundays when we have so much going on um, when we're very busy. So uh, if you don't like eggs, I have never liked scrambled eggs and my mom made this dish that only consisted of like a ton of egg whites and so I was like, can I have some of the leftover egg yolks and just like eat them because I was hungry and she said sure so I scrambled them and I ate them and I love them now like they're so good but I don't like the egg whites at all so if you don't like scrambled eggs I would suggest trying like them separate because my mom doesn't like the egg yolks she just likes the whites maybe try it different ways you might like it So a little bit higher this morning. My blood was a little bit higher last night, um, except for at midnight. I was like super low. I don't even know how low I was, but all I know is mom gave me four glucose tabs, which we rarely ever do four at one time, and a full cup of milk. So that was, I know I was very low, but anyway. Um, today I'm just having one cup of milk. I measured out one cup of milk with a measuring cup and then my egg yolks and one cup of milk is 12 carbs. So that is what I'm getting and then 2.65 units of insulin and that will deliver. And there we go. So my blood has been running a little bit higher today. Um, it's been about two hours since I ate and I am over 200. I just looked at it and now I can't remember what it said, but I'm over 200 and it, I don't know why it's been high, but I do have to change my pump today. So maybe that is why it's been high. I don't know. It's interesting. What do you think Dexcom? Dexy, what do you think? You're just tired. She's tired all the time. <laughs> she does just what she does. She sleeps all day. Dexy, can you say hi? No? Okay. Wow. Very high. <laughs> Great. I'm having some leftover mac and cheese from last night. That's what we had for dinner last night. So that's probably 45 carbs. So I'm going to bowl this 45 carbs. My blood has been high all morning, and so hopefully this will get it down a little bit more. Okay guys, so my blood sugar is 282 right now, which is pretty high. Um, I've been painting in this room. As you can see, it's not quite finished yet. I'm almost done, but I'm not going to be painting today, but we have to move all the stuff that's over here in the corner so that I can paint the other side. Um, maybe after this, my blood sugar will come down a little bit from all this exercising, so we'll see. So it has been exactly 40 minutes since I told y'all my blood sugar was 282 and that I was starting to move all that stuff and I did all the taping up for getting ready to paint 
and my blood sugar is 233 with an arrow slightly down so on my Dexcom. So that definitely helped my blood sugar go down, which is really good. And me and my mom are about to head out and go run some errands. So it might come down even more. Okay guys, so we're at Aldi's right now and my blood, my Dexcom says my blood is 99, but I decided to check my blood and just make sure that I'm not low. And depending on what it is, I'll probably just do a temporary basal and turn my insulin down a little bit so that I'm not getting as much insulin because um, we're going to be walking around Aldi for a little bit. So I'll check my blood real quick. Eighty-one, so a little bit lower than I would like, but we normally don't treat for that. We'll treat um, under eighty. So I'm just gonna do a temporary basal. So I'm gonna decrease my insulin to probably about forty-five percent for half an hour, and so I'm gonna get less insulin. Yeah. So I'm gonna get some eggs right now. I'm super excited because I get to make homemade noodles tonight and I love making homemade noodles. Um, I feel super weird like talking into the phone because some people just look at you like they don't know you're vlogging and it just kind of looks weird so I'm doing it anyway because I don't really care what people think so. <laughs> so I am currently sitting on a stack of flour because I feel low and we're almost done but I just felt low so I'm just going to sit here. And buy the sugar though, so if I need some sugar, you know, some more, it's right there. So I just went to re-watch the video that my mom took of me checking my blood. And she didn't video, she took pictures. So, I'm just going to tell you what happened. I felt kind of low and my CGM started beeping that I was low. And so I checked my blood and I was, uh, now I don't even remember. It's like 71 or something like that. I can't remember now. I can't think right when my blood's low. But it was 70 something. So she had me eat two glucose tablets and 10 peanut butter M&Ms. So yeah, that all was supposed to happen in the video. But she didn't video. She took pictures. <laughs> There's like three pictures. So I'll put one of the pictures here anyway. So we are back in the car and I just wanted to talk to y'all about something real quick. Um, I felt really low while we were in there and like I showed you I was sitting on the flower and I got a few like weird looks from people and a lot of type 1's are really embarrassed when that happens to them. But let me just tell you if you're trying to act like everything's alright and you're walking around the store when you're low and you pass out, there's going to be more people looking at you than if you're just sitting on some flower, okay? So just take care of yourself because of taking care of your body is more important than being afraid of people looking at you. And if somebody asks, then tell them I have type 1 diabetes and my blood sugar is low. Even when I'm low, I feel like I'm going to pass out and my whole body just feels like jello, kind of stare off into space. So it looks really weird, but, um, you know, taking care of yourself and your body is more important than being worried about people looking at you. How many carbs for this, Mom? I'd say about 36. 36 carbs. And there we go. Alrighty, guys. So I just finished making some homemade noodles. I love making homemade noodles. It's super easy. It's literally three ingredients. And then it's really fun to like do the roll out thing and cut it. It's just, it's fun to do. I'm about to take a shower. I don't know what my blood sugar is because I don't have my watch on. I use an Apple watch to read my blood sugar, but I haven't had it on today. So I, oh, I just looked at it actually. It was 163. My blood was 163, now I remember. So I'm going to go take a shower, and then it, since it's Saturday, there is a new Hallmark movie on. I love Hallmark movies, like I've said before. So we're just going to watch that Hallmark movie, and uh, if anything interesting happens, I will vlog. Alright, so post-shower blood sugar is 172. 
um, which is good because I'd rather be a little bit on the higher side than low. It's really fun when you go low in the shower and especially fun when you go low in the shower and your parents aren't home. Your mom's not home, nothing. So that's really fun. So my suggestion to you, my tip of the day in this vlog is to always check what your blood sugar is before you get in the shower. Will save your life probably. Anyway, that's just my tip of the day. Check your blood sugar before you get in the shower, okay? You will regret it if you don't. I didn't check my blood sugar that time and I was, I think I was like 50 and my mom wasn't home. It was just my brother. And so I was like yelling out the door, Kayla, bring me milk and set it on the counter. And yeah, anyway, check your blood sugar before you get in the shower. So I was in the middle of curling my hair, minding my own business, watching a Hallmark movie. My hair's really frizzy. Anyway, minding my own business and my alarm starts going off that my blood sugar is low. So let's check and see what it am. Alrighty guys, it is almost 11. Our Hallmark movie is sadly almost over. But I'm going to call it a night for this vlog. I feel like it's been a pretty interesting day with blood sugar. I was high, very high, and then I went very low, twice. Um, so yeah, I feel like that's been a pretty good. I hope that it was not too boring for y'all. I enjoyed making this for you. You can follow me on my Instagram at sweetly underscore modest. I post about type 1 diabetes every Thursday. And I really hope that you follow me and reach out to me if you ever have any questions or just need someone to talk to about diabetes. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and share this video to friends of yours, anything, comment, dislike, like, all of the above. So thank y'all so much for watching. Bye.